We are going to discuss about beta thalassemia. So before proceeding on into the main topic, let us first discuss the basics of thalassemia. So thalassemia is a quantitative disorder of the hemoglobin. So whenever there is quantitatively decrease in the globin chain synthesis of the hemoglobin, these disorders are called as quantitative disorders. And the common example for this condition is the thalassemia. And on the other side, whenever there is structural abnormality in the synthesis of the hemoglobin, it is called as qualitative disorders. And the common example is the sickle cell anemia. So if you can remember, the hemoglobin will consist of two alpha chains and two beta chains. So for the formation of the two alpha chains, there will be four alpha genes which will be required and they are present on chromosome number 16. And for the formation of the two beta chains, two beta genes are required and they are present on chromosome number 11. So alpha thalassemia is caused due to the gene deletion whereas beta thalassemia is caused due to the gene mutation. And beta thalassemia is more common than the alpha thalassemia. Moving further, let us now discuss about the pathophysiology associated with this condition. So a normal gene will consist of three regions that is exon which is the expressive region and intron which is the intervening region and promoter region which increases the number of the beta chains. So the image which you are seeing on the screen is the representation of the normal gene where the green colored structure is the promoter region which increases the number of the beta chains and exon is the expressive region and the numbered structures which you are seeing are the exons and in between the exons there are introns which will be present. So whenever there is splicing which is taking place the introns are removed and it results in the formation of the mRNA. So whenever there is splicing which is taking place it results in the formation of the mRNA which is then transferred to the ribosomes and in the ribosomes there will be translation which is taking place which leads to the formation of the beta chains. So whenever there is normal beta chain formation it is represented as beta and whenever there is partial beta chain formation it is called as beta plus and whenever there is no beta chain formation it is represented as beta 0. Now let us see which kind of mutation will cause which type of beta chain. So whenever there is splicing mutations especially in the introns more than the exons it results in the formation of the partial beta chains and whenever there is mutation which is taking place in the promoter region it results in the formation of the partial beta chain and when there is chain termination mutation there won't be any beta chain which will be forming. So the splicing mutation as well as the promoter mutation will result in the formation of the partial beta chain and the chain termination mutation will result in the no beta chain formation. Now let us discuss the clinical possibilities which happen when there is abnormal beta chain formation. So whenever there is presence of two beta chains which are normal, it results in the formation of the normal hemoglobin. And the normal hemoglobin concentration is 14 to 17 gram per deciliter. And whenever there is presence of one beta chain which is normal and the other with the partial beta chain formation, it results in the mild condition and it is called as thalassemia minor and it is also called as thalassemia trait and in this condition the hemoglobin is more than 10 gram per deciliter and it is the asymptomatic condition and in the condition where there is presence of two beta chain with the partial synthesis it results in the moderate condition and it is called as thalassemia intermedia in this condition the hemoglobin concentration is 6 to 7 gram per deciliter and the patient may require on and off blood transfusions and in the conditions where there is partial or no beta chain synthesis it is a severe condition and is called as thalassemia major and in this condition the hemoglobin concentration is less than 6 gram per deciliter and in these conditions the patient may require multiple blood transfusions. Mm -hmm.